How to draw a frog. Easy. To start with the body, draw an oval that has an angle to it. Then make a couple of other ovals for the legs. I did a circle for the front leg and then I'll break that down later. A frog's body can look complex, but if you start out with rounded shapes, it can be pretty easy. Erase some of the lines that you drew before and start to work out the shape. You got the nose up there. I kind of added some variation to the back. And just work your way around. I'm using a number two pencil here and then part of my process is going to be to change to an India ink pen but we'll put down the line work here in pencil first. And while we're working on that I was looking for facts about frogs and it's interesting because I never knew this before, but frogs never drink a drop of water. They never get their water through their mouths, at least. What they do is they absorb any water that they get through their skin only. So as I work on the leg there, it's starting to look more amphibious. Now I drew in the webbed feet and we're getting to look pretty frog-like right now. And soon we're gonna we're gonna switch to a different medium here. So now I'm on the light table here. Not my primary light table, but I'm just tracing over the line work that I did. I like to do this on a new piece of Bristol board because it can be hard to get all those graphite marks out of there and eventually I'm going to color this drawing. So I'm just moving around the shape here. Getting the eyes and I'll probably color that in with India ink once we get back in the light here. So I'm just working out the shape of that top eye. Added a little highlight in the eye there. And actually that black rim around, around the eye actually isn't the eyeball. It's that white part and then the pupil in the middle. I'm going to add a little variation to the thickness of the black line. And pretty soon we're going to be ready for coloring and here we are. I'm using uh, some colored pencils. My favorite medium for uh, for color for colorizing actually as uh, markers. However, this time this is what I had at the moment. So I'm going to see how it turns out here. I'm going to go with the lightest color, which in this situation is going to be yellow, and I'm going to work out some of these 
shadows here. And actually, what I figured out is that frogs are pretty, pretty bright. Because when they're in a light, there's a lot of reflection. So it's actually sort of hard to figure out where the shadow on their body is. So I just decided to use a lot of, a lot of different colors, a little bit of brown there. Working out the, uh, some more of the yellow. And then eventually here I'm going to put some green in there. Although all frogs are not green, you could probably do any color of a rainbow because there are red frogs, there's blue frogs. There's a lot of brown frogs. And uh, frogs come in all kinds of colors. And uh, the more colorful they are, the general rule is the more poisonous they are because it's a warning to predators that they're poisonous. And so if I left it yellow, that would be the color of a poisonous dart frog. Poisonous dart frogs are generally yellow. But I'm going to put some green in here. Some kind of yellowish green. And so another interesting thing that I learned, because when you're looking for frog pictures you come across frog facts and one thing I learned is that frogs can jump 20 times their own height so I had seen I had seen the fact that if you were five foot tall you could jump I think it was 2,020 feet or something like that so you could jump pretty far um, but of course our bodies aren't made that way but I think I'd find that pretty useful and they seem to do it just from a standstill too it isn't it isn't like they have to have a running jump or anything like that if you've ever tried to catch a frog, um, it can be difficult because they can get away from you. So there's about 4,700 species of frogs. And they're on every continent except Antarctica. As I work out some more of the shading here. Just trying to get them really really colorful. Put some coloring in the web there. And adding some shading to the foot. And you get kind of the, uh, the rounding of the toes. Because this, this frog is more of, a, more of a tree frog. So he's kind of got those sticky pads on his foot. And he'll work on that back leg there. And the... Uh, adding some definition on the side of the body there. And actually, one of the ways that you can tell if it's a male frog or a female frog is by looking at the ears. And uh, I guess males have larger ears. There is a uh, it's kind of behind their eye. And if it's a larger ear, if it's more prominent, then 
it's most likely a male frog. We're just working through this color here. These colored pencils I had, I bought them for something else and they were they were pretty high quality. But I noticed they're pretty heavy coated too. So there's the final frog. And yes, that's how to draw a frog. It's easy if you just work through it. And I hope you enjoyed this video.